Hey guys, Sean Anderson here and welcome to another video. This week, I wanna to talk to you all about how does building a brand on LinkedIn at a desk level, at a company level, turn into ROI? You know, so many people on a weekly basis say to me, Sean, I get it, I get it. You know you wanna be out there, you wanna get the vanity likes, you wanna get the engagement, but does it make any money? Like, what's the ROI on this? And it's a really valid point, I think. Um, but I, I want you to think about it in two phases, okay? So there's, it's kind of immediate ROI and then there's long-term ROI and they are different. Okay, so if you or your business, the people in your company are gonna be embarking on building your brand and putting yourself out there. And obviously my methodology is all about taking what you're saying on the phone as a market expert, as a, as a practitioner, as a community engager, thought contributor out offline and putting that online, right? So it's posting more on LinkedIn, it's engaging with people, it's building that the noise around you and the agency and the individuals in it. When you do that, there's a couple of things that are gonna happen, okay? So the first short-term ROI is you're gonna see a peak in LinkedIn statistics. And I know that for some that doesn't matter, all right? But for others, um, well, for, for anyone who understands what they can do with that, then that will drive an immediate ROI, okay? So if I share my screen, I'm gonna to talk to you about what I mean, right? So if I go to LinkedIn and I uh, show you what, what does a media ROI look like? Let's go to my homepage. Okay, so let's pick a post of someone who, uh... all right, so Joel Algie here, right? I mean, he's got a huge following. He used to work for Hoxo, right? Recruiting isn't easy. All you have to do is bang, 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 bang. He's put all these recruitment things in there, right? The immediate ROI for Joel is 349 people have liked it and 43 comments. Now, what can he do with that? Well, he's got two choices. He can, check out everyone who's in that likes and comments and he can engage with them. The immediate ROI is people who see the world in his way are presenting themselves. Now there's gonna be loads of dross in there. There's gonna be loads of people that aren't relevant, but I promise you there'll be people in there that are relevant. So like, for example, with me today, I posted this video, right? So uh, here, you still need to make phone calls, right? So I've posted this video and if I look, 60 likes, 16 comments in a few hours, and I can go, well, you know, Tom, Thomas Richard, recruiter, 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 everyone's recruitment, right? So the immediate ROI is, do I know them? If I do, brilliant. If I don't, I'm gonna get to know them, okay? I can also click on the likes, which is more than the comments, okay? And I can go through here and go, do I know them? And often I do know them, but like, for example, operations that said, I don't know what initiative IT recruitment are. I'll be connecting. Well, we're already connected, but Kinga will, you know, I can drop her a message. So the immediate ROI is building my brand. I'm putting out my thoughts. People will present themselves. Now, I might only get two likes or three or four or five. Over time, when you put more content out there and the frequency goes up and it's more relevant and you're getting more comfortable, the immediate ROI is you can pick the people that are engaging with you every day and reach out, knowing confidently that they know who you are and there's already a digital relationship being built. So it creates lists for you effectively of people you can reach out to. Now, the longer term ROI is stuff that I, only people who've been doing this can genuinely tell you. And it's when you get messages off people and you get invited to things. But the, the main thing is when you've been doing this for a while, people will genuinely start to follow what you're doing. They'll start to be interested in you. They'll start to reach out to you, drop you messages and say, hey, I'd love to talk to you about this. Hey, I'd love to work with you on this project. So this is a guy called Carl Winterbottom who owns a company called Orbition Recruitment. He started working with me two years ago, right? Um, September, 2020, when he opened his agency. Now he had a bit of a name in the data market, but nothing like he does now. Kyle this year was voted in the Data IQ top 100 most influential people in the data industry globally. He's the only recruiter who's ever been even considered for it, never mind put in the list. And it's because Kyle contributes so much to the sector. So if I look here, what's he put up here? The CDAO role is currently out of reach for most. I don't even know what it means, but I'm pretty sure most people do in this market. I must get approached four or five times a week from data leaders who are still looking for this exclusive role. The challenge is this. There are only a handful of organizations that genuinely have them. There are many that have a little title, but don't have a seat at the top table, don't pay in a CXO package, don't really have a great deal of influence. Unfortunately, I've seen many people chase the title, blah, 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 right? Let's have a look at the engagement. Great, great image, by the way. And then, you know, really interesting. 
Plain speaking data strategy, digital transformation. I know many still chasing this role. And if you look at the engagement, 44 people, you've got a data analytics leader, you've got a HRBP, you've got a data analytics program manager, head of there is a recruiter, what else you got? Vice president here of a business, DA, that's a data architect, technical director, group head of product data at the Evo Group. So these are all the right people engaging with them. So Kyle now, every day puts content out like this where he's engaging people. And when I spoke to Kyle, and you can watch the episode of the RAG podcast, I'll put the link in the comments. I, I interviewed Kyle a couple of months ago about his performance and what he's been doing. He's made one million pounds, one million pounds since he started building his brand in 2020. One million in revenue that he can track as 100% come to him from his LinkedIn account. They've said, Kyle, we've seen what you're up to. He's winning retainers from people without even going out and talking to them. People are just emailing him going, Kyle, I love what you're doing. You're the guy we want to fill this role. Can we agree terms? So he gets candidates, he gets clients coming inbound. So that if we break it into two sections, the short-term ROI will be, you're gonna be seen more, you're gonna get engagement, and what happens is when you reach out, do an outbound, when you phone in, when you DM in, which is what we do all day as recruiters, people are gonna to start to recognize you. Okay, so you're gonna get better response rates, more trust, and you're gonna get warm lists every single day of people that have already showed some interest in what you're up to, what you're saying. That's number one. Number two, over time, people are gonna to start to trust you and they're gonna to start to see you as an expert, as a thought leader, as, a, as a, a thought contributor that's actually got a track record of success. And they're gonna to wanna to work with you. You're gonna get candidates, you're gonna get clients. The word of mouth referral has always been the best way. We all agree on this, I hope, that if a candidate says to another candidate, you need to speak to Sean, he's, he's awesome, which I used to get all the time. Candidates that then come to you already have this kind of built-in perception that you're good at what you do. If a client says, you've got to work with Hoxo, they're amazing. The client already has a, has a feeling about Hoxo before they come into the room because someone they know and trust has already said they like what we do. LinkedIn is doing that on steroids, okay? If you can get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 views on a post consistently three, four, five times a week, that's 15, 20, 30, 50,000 people every single week agreeing with you, disagreeing with you, liking your content, engaging with your content. Over a year, the compounding impact is insane. And so the ROI presents itself. But this will only work if you commit to it, okay? I know people who do one or two posts, get a lot of engagement, and then get back, get busy and go back to it, you know? Those of you that really care, like this is Friday, it's four o'clock on a Friday right now. My whole business finishes at 12, right? My business finishes at 12 o'clock on a Friday. So have a great weekend, but not me, right? I'm in here, I'm recording, because I care about my brand, I care about what I'm doing. And I know that the more I put this out there for you guys, the more opportunity I get. It's a given. And I've been doing this for five years. So I want to inspire you today to think longer term. The ROI will be candidates presenting themselves and clients presenting themselves. And you guys know what to do. You know how to do the rest. In your sales conversations, when you're driving this, you should be saying, how much are we getting from our LinkedIn content? Are you, look at that guy who's liked your content. Have you reached out? Look at that person who commented. Have you reached out? And when you start to see the candidates turn to interviews and deals, you know, it works. You'll love it. Okay, hope that was valuable. Hope you found that interesting. I'll be back again with another video. Make sure you tune in and I'll see you soon.